Will AI overtake cybersecurity in the next five years? And what should I do instead? Thanks. Okay, so this is an awesome question because it's actually very near and dear to my heart. So first off, I think um, undoubtedly that AI is going to take over a lot of jobs, not only in the cybersecurity field, but in many other fields as well. So not, and this is not only going to happen in the future, but also as we speak, there are already algorithms uh, that actually run full flash the uh, pen tests and even algorithms that work in incidents response monitoring and uh, management. So you can, for example, look up uh, dark trace. Um, for those of you who don't know, who's kind of a cybersecurity algorithm, but look up dark trace. Uh, and I actually did a lengthier video on the exact topic, and you can find it on my channel. But yes, um, AI is going to get a bigger chunk of the cybersecurity pie, so to speak. So. Um, even so, not everything uh, is lost for pen testers, uh, bug hunters, uh, security researchers, and the rest of the people working in cybersecurity. Uh, there are many steps in the uh, research process, for example, in cybersecurity that require some sort of a human eye, and it will take a lot of AI advancements for that to actually be completely replaced. So what I want to say is that if you keep yourself in the learning process at all times, it shouldn't be an issue for the next couple of years. So if you're a lifelong learner, and this is actually kind of the definition of a hacker, of a cybersecurity person, these are curious people. They like to learn at all times. You should identify with this type of persona if you're in cybersecurity. And if you're someone who's curious and someone who's always uh, learning, this shouldn't be an issue for you. Now, moreover, uh, if you want to have an edge over other professionals in the field of cybersecurity and also actually protect yourself better, uh, protect yourself from being completely replaced by AI, what you should do is you should actually be learning machine learning, which is the very basic or the very algorithms that power AI. So in this case, what you'll do, um, you will learn how to build AI algorithms yourself, or you will be better. So by learning machine learning, you will be better at debugging or fixing AI algorithms when they malfunction. So think about that. Right, right. Um, that's a very good question. And I, I just want to add a little bit onto that. Um, and then sort of, um, and sort of counter that a little bit based on on my own experience. Uh, well, first, let I want to point out that, as you said, rightfully, so AI is already being used in cybersecurity to a large extent, and primarily in these areas, because I've, I've actually been getting into it quite a bit and, I've, and I've, I've actually seen the use cases and the potential use cases. Um, so firstly, we, we have seen the increased uh, use of, cyber, of uh, machine learning and AI in, 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 in the form of intrusion detection systems. Uh, it's also being used for malware analysis, classification and detection. So again, it, it's helping companies and the antivirus solutions improve the ability to analyze, detect, and identify malware, you know, almost in real time, right? And, and that's a huge thing if you come to think of it when, when you're talking about intrusion detection systems, not only are the intrusion detection systems right now quite advanced and quite cap capable at, uh, at actually blocking attacks and, of course, at the same time logging it, but now with uh, AI and having these huge amounts of data that they can gather or that companies can gather from, you know, multiple sources, multiple companies, uh, you know, you can build up a huge database of, you know, you know, attacks, uh, the, the types of attacks, uh, potential malicious URLs, so on and so forth. And you can increase, uh, you know, you can really, really increase the ability to detect and identify malware. Um, the second thing is that I wanted to point out, as Christy already said, is, I, and this is, uh, again, close to me because I, I work closely with, this, uh, with these systems on a day-to-day -day basis, 
is uh, you know the the usage or the increased usage of artificial intelligence with, with the uh, with security information and event management systems or SIEMs as they're called, um, and of course the integration of these helps uh, helps these systems uh, you know adequately respond to the attacks in an increasingly intelligent way, and of course the most important thing is the ability to classify these attacks and artificial artificial intelligence is really really helping with this and then just to to close off another interesting area that i've i've said uh there's actually a few projects i, I can't actually remember the names of uh, of these particular projects but ai is also being used to detect uh, malicious urls and uh, this uh, th this system and service is being integrated into companies to prevent phishing attacks. So, for example, if an employee clicks on a link and uh, the intrusion detection system or the firewall is able to pick up on uh, this particular traffic as irregular, because uh, the a huge part of artificial intelligence in in a, a company or enterprise network is building a model of what the daily routine is in regards to the activities that are being performed by employees. So over the course of a month or a year, and then of course, when these phishing attempts or attacks are, 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 are targeted on, you know, towards a company or an employee, it's very easy for you know, artificial intelligence uh, to actually detect and say, you know what, there, there's something wrong with this. This is highly irregular. It's connecting through uh, you know, on unspecified ports, so on and so forth. So. Uh, I'll just end it by saying that um, AI is 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 going to be is going to have a huge part to play in cybersecurity moving forward. And as Christy said, uh, your ability to learn and adapt, uh, you know, with the inclusion of cybersecurity in, in cyber uh, of artificial and cybersecurity will be really really important moving forward.